Hi, this is Jackie with the Build It All team. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with list pages and emails. So first, we're going to click on See Lists. A page is going to open up. We're going to choose the training list here by clicking on Pages and Emails. A page will open like this, and you can see we've got pages and emails right here. So let's look at pages first. These are basically default pages that will be shown to the subscriber when they have taken a certain action on the list. For an example, let's say they've already subscribed and is now clicking on an email to confirm their email subscription. If you did not specify where they will be directed to after confirmation on the initial opt-in form itself, then they will see these pages depending on the action. So the same applies to all of these different pages. Now it's quite easy to edit. For an example, let's look at the subscription confirmed. If I'm going to click edit, you're going to see that it looks basically just like you are sending an email. You've got all these different content tools that you can make use of, and you would be able to manipulate and change it according to your needs right here. You would also be able to click on view macros if you want to make use of any other tags inside of the email. And I'm going to close that now. And let's look at emails. Now with emails, it's the same thing. You're going to have to make a decision whether you want to send a person directly to another thank you page or another unconfirmed page. It depends on the action again. Or you can make use of the default uh, emails that will be sent out once an action has taken place. We've got unsubscribe confirm email. We've also got a subscribe confirm email. So let's go take a look at what this one looks like. And again, this is just looking like a normal email that will be sent. And you can see we've got the information right there. You can use some content tools here to make this a little bit more uh, according to your brand by maybe adding some images and logos to it. And you've got additional macros, which means tags that you can add to your page. So you can modify it. Once you've done that, you're just going to click on update. And then the most important part of these emails, sometimes you might want to send a welcome email just after subscription has taken place and they've confirmed it. This is where you would be able to automate that. But it's important to remember if you are going to make use of a welcome email, you need to make sure that under the list data, if I go click on the list data, uh, that you are enabling the welcome email right here. Otherwise, that email will not be sent. Now, to edit is exactly the same as all the others. You're just going to click on edit, change the information, and click on update. And that is basically all there is about the pages and emails. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in another.